gonna change the world. Game seven. Oh my god. Game seven. My hockey sticks, there will be gonna make a game a seven. Real difference. Feed the poor and heal the sick. Oh, it game was seven. destiny, baby. Game oh, seven. just as we all prophesized. Did you did you have you go to game seven in your bracket? I had Leafs in six, I think. Oh, I, mm. I thought you picked the Leafs sweep. I had Actually, Bruins in seven, no, I, but I hope the Leafs win. <sighs> Oh my! Oh, Hayden. Hayden, it's actually. I, it's it. It hurts just to sit next. It's to hard you. to listen to that. Is that real? Hard Is that to be re- in like, a room with that right now? The fact that I'm sitting, like I had the Leafs in seven, the Leafs in seven, and now I'm sitting next to you. Got Boston in seven. Hey, I'm wearing I'm wearing a, a t-shirt. Hey, how confident are you? Fire. How confident are you in that right now? You hey, know what? See I was t-shirt. I was gonna invite you over to watch Ew. the game. Leafs are on fire. That's why I wore it. I was going to invite you over to to watch the game, Hayden, but you're going to have to sit outside. Yeah. Okay? You sit outside. You watch the window. (laughs) In the little window. I'll out on the property, actually. (laughs) Get binoculars. I don't even watch you in the general vicinity. I I would not want to be on the couch with you watching the game because Boston would score, and I'd look over, and out of the corner of my eye, I'd see you just had a tiny little smile. Yeah. Just a tiny little one. Like, oh, oh, I want the Leafs to win, but... (laughs) I but it. I predicted it. Oh, I, oh but I predicted I'd it. Punch you. Oh, I, I'm not. Yeah, if you're like I anyone cheering for Boston, I'm, I want the Leafs to win. I just I know you it. do. I just thought it was. But was you can't be pick. torn. You can't be torn. You can't have that. Whereas you're not allowed. It's like, like you're well, not I guess it's not that both. bad because yeah, you're not allowed to pick both. I mean, I'm upset that the Leafs are I losing. But I don't care if I'm right though. That's mm, like mm, I want. Uh, I want projecting. He's projecting. <laughs> that's that's zen. That's very zen of you. Like I want the Leafs to win, and I want to be wrong. That's there's a difference, you know. Uh, yeah. Who like I'm not be, cheering who for wants Boston. To be wrong but... though. <laughs> I don't want to be wrong. Hey, I want to be wrong. Spoken like a true Leafs fan. No matter what, you've set yourself up to be somewhat disappointed, right? Hey, can we even <laughs> be disappointed? Like at this point, we're just used to it. <laughs> you know. You just yeah. like being wrong. Yeah. Like, I just want to be disappointed. So I picked the Bruins to win. So if they don't, I'll still be somewhat disappointed because I was wrong. Yeah, it's a it's a disappointing Leafs fan. By Hayden, I guess it's going to be. Mm. Either yeah. way it goes because he's yeah. going to have the bracket wrong or he's going to mm-hmm. have his team out. Like, mm-hmm. That's like you thought you were playing it right. What do, you, what do you care more about, the team winning or being right about your bracket? That's what I'm saying. I don't give Being a, right a about, the about the bracket and my team winning. Being <laughs> right about everything. Being right about everything. Everything. Oh. We mm. picked the right team. Just we, like L.A. <laughs> L.A. <laughs> <laughs> Who are those guys again? Oh, yeah, they were in the playoffs. Did they win? Did they week. lose last night? Yeah, they're not in it anymore. Uh, it moves on to play one of Dallas or Vegas. Uh, Dallas goes up 3-2. I did pretty that wrong. I got Colorado that. moves on. Oh, yeah. We talked about that last episode. Who else? Oh, Vancouver has a chance to close it out against Nashville. Three two on the series for that one. Is there two potential closeout games tonight? Let me check. Um, yeah, because yep. Dallas and Canucks and Dallas could yep. could Canucks got to get that it. done. They had a chance last game. One nothing. Fifteen minutes left, and they didn't get it done. Yeah, on their third string goalie. Yeah, that's uh, tough stuff over there. Yeah, what's they're just putting anyone in. I don't even know. You know, what, Solars Smith or something, Smith or something. No, the next goalie, Solars. De Smith got hurt, or who got did. hurt? Yeah, well, no, there was, um, their main goalie, uh, Demko, got hurt, and yep. then De Smith was their backup, and then yep. he got hurt. So now it's like Solars. No, no, that's oh. I, that sounds like the uh, Florida goalie Solars. Oh, maybe I'm confusing. No, I think it might be. I'm, I'm checking the box score because I have zero clue. I'm telling you, whoever they had in net though was like. Really good, in, Demko. In, for no, Vancouver. no, no, no. Yeah, for for Vancouver, like he was very okay. This oh, Silovs, Silovs or something. I'm pretty S- sure it's I, pronounced Solars. Solars? Yeah. There's no R. In it. <laughs> Everyone's it's, been saying Solars or something. Okay, I, I got no clue. It's, I don't think I've is watched. It a? It's S I L O V. A Solars, Anthony Solars. It's Solars. You say that Solars. Okay. Well, I'm. I, I haven't read it. I have I'm, only saying it by what people. What the announcers say. are saying. Okay. Yeah. I have a question. I, all right, go. Have you guys watched a full game other than a Leafs game in this playoffs? Yes. Everyone, almost. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, I, not I have really responsibilities, so not everyone, but I have. Seen I've been some. up till like one a.m. like almost every night. <laughs> I think I've missed every game except for Leafs game. Oh, oh. You yeah, know, I watched all of the Colorado Winnipeg series, Dallas, Vegas, Florida, the Florida. I'll Battle, catch Florida, like a third I watched period. That. Okay, the why? only ones I didn't watch was when he went to the Leafs game. So we were in Toronto, and I didn't really watch uh, it. So. Why have you been missing them? 
I don't watch that much hockey. Okay. I don't like. I just what, people have this like idea that I watch a ton of hockey. I watch Leafs games. Yeah. That's okay. You're clowning on me for my bracket. <laughs> just kidding. What are you I, doing? What are you doing instead? Are you? I'm producing. Producing. You're just producing. Entertaining the world. Just producing stuff. <laughs> it's almost like just that. producing stuff every day. That's more important. Just producing. It? <laughs> it's just producing, Jack. More important to be. Entertaining the world. This entertainment, this entertainment space, you know? Yeah. yeah. Making my own game. Exactly. Why you know. Why watch when you can produce? produce? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I just... Not consuming. I, yeah, I'm just a Leafs fan, you know? What do you do on the strong end? The strong ends, I like to... <laughs> I don't even know. I got to I gotta figure out, like, I don't know what I'm doing this strong end. Mm. You know, Watching my, my strong ends are very, uh, spur, uh, what's it called, spontaneous. Yeah, sporadic, There's spontaneous. There's always a new thing maybe popping up. <laughs> or the same thing. Actually, a lot of the days turn into the same things. If you don't plan stuff, yeah, then usually the days look the, s- the same. That? Fair. But well, then if you do plan stuff and you have like a schedule, then your days are the same too. Hey, that goes back to my quote from last episode. Don't go through life, grow, grow through, through life. life. So I like you... growing through life. I think that would be a great mm-hmm. thing to Speaking do. Speaking about growth. I, I just want to touch on. Hold on. You I should talk about the game, though. Chippies. What, what? I just want to. Yeah, you want to talk about my life more? Yeah. Well, I would love to just t- touch on what you just said. When you don't plan, your days all look the same. Oh. It's very pro- pro- poetic. And Was that poetic? Yeah, I, I like think it. So. Is it. Did it make sense? Or is it, no, it, yeah, it, it makes sense. It feels like that is like you have to put like Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Benjamin. If you don't plan, your days all look the same. Wayne Gretzky. Oh yeah, like we, we just do CC for Coach Chippy. Yeah, like that's like <laughs> like Socrates, Coach Chippy. Socrates, yeah, exactly. Yeah, right, like that's like a Socrates quote. It's philosophical, but it's Coach Chippy, right? It's philosophical. If you don't plan your days; they all look the same. Or if you do plan them, and they're the same days that you're planning, it's the same day too. Right. So if you have the same schedule every day, you're living the same day. If you want, if you want that, you plan it. <laughs> you plan it that way. Yes. And then if you don't, you can. You can plan your life differently. Just, just by this conversation, that's where my brain's at. Okay. There you Very go. Very sporadic. Very. So he's going to walk chaotic. out. He's, he's done the pot. He's got to go. He's got stuff to do now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just, you don't know. I don't know what I'm doing next. I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> the next five minutes. I don't know what I'm going to sing next either. These oh. words are floating out of my mouth right now. Makes sense. If you don't plan it, you just fall into your habits, right? You're singing. You fall yeah, into the you habits. You fall into the same habits unless you start elevating your consciousness. Mm-hmm. And then you're conscious of every move you make in the day. Oh. You're extremely present. And you're like living in the state of Zen all day long. It's so true. If you don't go into that deep part of your brain, you just keep on repeat. It's Groundhog Day, isn't it? Yes. Until until you're like, you know what? I should plan a trip and drive nine hours north and go camping at some and obscure thing. Like you wouldn't just do that. Do you wouldn't something. just do that. Mm-hmm. You have to think it. Consciously think about it. Bring it into your like, life. Hey, we're going to do that. Yeah. If you need to change your life, you got to plan it. Plan action. the change. Yeah. Take action. 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 I think it's lights, camera, action is the big Lights. Uh, Camera. Yeah. Action. Who uh, on the Leafs do you think is most zen right now? Who is the Will most he 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 No, Wall. Joseph Wall. Oh, did you hear Those him? Are the did you hear his post game? Oh. Did you hear his post game interview? Yeah, I'm not thinking no. too much. I'm just going. I'm not thinking too much. I'm just not worrying about a thing and just playing the game. Yeah, who said that, you, Wall? You, <laughs> Wall's low key watching me. You know. My stories, baby. You know, he was trying so hard to not say, I wasn't thinking too much. I was just, just flowing. flowing. Right? He had to stop yeah. himself. He's like, Shh, I can't say I was that. just That's playing. Chippy. Chippy, you'll know. Chippy, you'll know. I wasn't thinking too much. I was just playing the game out there. It, but even, uh, he even says, just. I just. I was just. I wasn't and he had thinking to stop too much. Himself. I was just. Because he knew playing the game. Because he knew he would owe you royalties if he used exactly. the copyright. He he knew that you got the copyright on it, right? I was watching the Sports Center and it was on. I was watching the interview. I'm like, did he just say that? I paused mm-hmm. it, went back, reversed it. Mm-hmm. Did he just say he wasn't thinking? Oh, you never think. Thinking's a bad place to be. That's no, that exactly. It's the Bruce Lee mentality. You have to get into that second beginner where you're just like going. You don't have to think about anything. You just experience it and just natural reactions. If you're thinking too much, it slows you down. And that's oh, you want yeah. those guys in the flow state. You want them in the flow. If you're playing a hockey game as a goalie and you have thoughts coming up, you have up to be a bit brain, weird. Yeah. You have to be extremely observant of what's happening. I feel like. Play free. You gotta play mm-hmm. free. I feel like the goalie is the most zen position. Like you have to have clear mental state. Like I feel like if you're a player and you're a forward you can have a little There's bit, a little more leeway. You can have a little bit going on your dome. You get, yeah, you get to go to the bench. Yeah, you get to think a little bit. Yeah. 
No, a goal you're playing every minute of the game. True. And, and let's talk about that game. Yes, let's get the it. The Leafs, game six. Win 2-1. Two oh, uh, two one. Two, <laughs> uh, I one. couldn't believe that <laughs> last one. I, I was like, I told my dad, like, no, the, the clock was over. I'm like, no, that counts. I was like, that was in the net. Yeah. Who right. jinxed it? Who said it? There's got to be some broadcast. Someone in that booth Someone said the S word. I, w- oh, I, it was I will say, okay. I will say, is it better that they got one and there's not like this narrative how many game periods he's gone without a goal? Yeah, I think it's good like because they won the game. That's all that matters. Yeah, and there's no like all pressure of having a shutout too. Like now. Yeah, yeah, I see that. I see that. You no, know, it's, it's like it's cooler if it was a shutout and like, hey, the Boston has a real tough time scoring against Wool. I haven't done it in this, you know, ever since Wool. No, but then that's reverse psychology there. Then the pressure's like on Wool. He's yes. like, yeah, they haven't been able to score me. Now I got to keep that exactly. up. That's what yeah. I'm saying. So it's it's more cool for the fans. And then they start putting they that. start putting the, the the timer. They've gone 20 minutes without a goal. It's like in his 60 face. minutes without a goal, and now you're like, oh, of course they're going to score one on this next play. Yeah. <laughs> like now there's no talk, whatever, no I, shutout. I think it is a little better. I like yeah, that. I, like I also was at my house to watch the game yesterday. Oh, yeah, it's nice. It's nice. First time in a while or what? The only time we've won in the series – the only times we've won in the series are when I'm at my house yeah. in my room in a zen position. Oh. I, when, I, when I went down to the city and I was in the square, unlucky. Mm. Unlucky. When I went to a, a bar to watch a game, unlucky. Yeah. Mm. I can't watch in public now. I think I found what works you're at the, home. You're like oh, me saying no the superstitions. No one's in my face. Hey. No one's in my face. When you were at Maple Leaf Square and that uh, giant dumb rat in the Boston Bruins jersey oh. and you got a picture with him, did you know that was Jesse Pollock? <laughs> it was not Jesse Pollock. It wasn't? It was not. It, it, w- oh, it was okay. a, he actually has his own brand. He had his, his own business card. Oh, yeah. He handed me a business card. He's, I was like, yeah. He, t- he posted afterwards. He's like, I didn't know that was you, Chippy. Oh, no. That was, I think it was a photographer, but the actual oh, guy, the actual guy okay. he uh, passed me his business card. Right. <laughs> I, that's a, a business of what? Uh, but did Jesse go it, into the thing with a rat costume on? I, no, I, I just saw that. I saw a Bruins jersey. Oh, I saw it would a make giant sense. rat. And I was like, Hundred percent. That's Jesse Pollock right there. Like they can't. I, it could not be anyone else. But oh, yeah. he's getting shredded though. With no, he the gets abs enough. And he's getting shredded because the or not the abs. The Jets. The Jets. He gets enough hate just from his face. He doesn't need to put on the rat uniform. Shout out, <laughs> shout out to Jesse though. He's playing he's, his. He's hey. playing his. He's playing his role. He's, yeah. he's very, good at, he's very he good at what he does. Very good at what he does. He's very good at what he does. He's a rat. He's a rat. <laughs> the Brad Marchand of. Yeah. Of, uh, well, I, I, I I would be scared to walk downtown Toronto and do what he does. So so this. This guy with the rat costume, it's his business of, of what? He's going out there getting content, baby. That's the business. <laughs> what do you mean? He's got eyes on him, baby. Everyone's going up to him getting a like, picture. Are you booking him for your next birthday party? I might have to. He looks yeah. kind of like Chuck E. Cheese a little bit. I might, I might have to. <laughs> but, yeah, we uh, had a great game yesterday. Oh, yeah. I would say, I, w- I want to say it was an enjoyable watch, but it really wasn't. I was, I felt sick. Mm. Oh, I, I was, loved it. I, I was... felt, I was nervous. I felt sick. Wow. I get nervous for these games, man. I'm like, I can't even watch. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. I'm like, we need to score the first goal. Yeah. We oh. needed to score that Th- first this, goal, bro. This is what I told Hey, and I was like, we need the first goal, and we need a power play goal, and if the Leafs can do that, then the game's over. They need to oh. get that monkey off their back. And, and I'm watching, and Boston cannot get a shot on goal. Five minutes in. But the longer that in, goes, the more exactly. I'm like, the next shot they shoot is going to be exactly. in the net. And, and – they do go the entire period. Boston only had one shot against the Leafs. And it like, almost went in. What are you doing? Okay, please, somebody on the Leafs team, anyone, just put the puck in the net so that we can be taking advantage of, of this, this crazy stretch. Play. Yeah. Well, wasn't in- it Marshan got a roughing penalty in the first period? They didn't Which score. No. Have, then the start of the all. second period. Oh, and that's the Pasternak worst. Pasternak got a four-minute penalty. Uh, okay, that, okay, no, let's talk about that four-minute power play for a second. That might have been... The worst thing I've yes. seen as a Leafs fan yes. in the history of my Leafs. Yes, <laughs> I. That's worse than a three-one comeback, I think. Oh, for me, I'm like I'm looking at this four-minute pa- pa- power play. I was like, the Leafs need the first goal, and they need a power play goal. This is their chance. If they don't score right here, it's almost over. They they might lose the game right here if they don't score. I couldn't believe it. Was, bro. I couldn't believe what I watched on that four-minute power play. Like, <laughs> who is responsible for the power play, and whoever it is? Should have been fired on right. the bench at that and, moment. And I, I said this after the second game. The Leafs power play is not performing. Run the next practice. Just It's all like, power play. D- That's it. Don't even put the power play line out. Just put – don't even – at this point, don't even put a power play line out. Don't change anything. 
Uh, just keep just playing the same. first line, second Men's line. league it. Men's yeah. league it. Men's league it. Yeah. Whoever's, whoever's next shift, just put them out. And <laughs> this drop pass, when it takes yeah. 50 seconds to uh, get into the zone. When, when you're stepping on the puck and <laughs> instead of... Skate. Riley had it. He could have just skated yeah. in the end. He, okay. he turns back and fly. I'm like, what is going on? Back in the day, you just dump it in the, in the yeah. end and go and hammer somebody. Yeah. Put it, put it in and go get it. Oh. When your your special teams aren't special. Stop treating them like special teams. We shouldn't even have special teams line Regular out teams. Out there. It should just be Regular a normal teams. line. We should put just run the lines. Put the them. Leafs normal teams out there. Oh, Our power the play is like 3%. Dude, Boston's, it keeps going down. Boston's is like 47. Dude, it's By one, game seven, it's going to be 0%. It's insane. <laughs> one power play goal out of 20 power plays. Maybe I'm more trying now. To stay positive. More. I'm trying to stay uh, positive as a Leafs uh, fan, and I'm like, what did I just witness there? Mm. Yeah, now... I thought this is the Leafs' chance to get the monkey off their back and finally score in the power play. It's a four-minute power play. You get into the zone, you move it around a little bit, you tire out the other team, get it right, tire them out. They couldn't get it in. I was like, okay. So I'm watching the clock tick down, and there's four minutes on the power play, and then there's only two minutes left on the power play. Okay, at least they got the jitters out for the first two minutes, but now they have the the next two minutes to actually have a power play. That's probably what they needed. They needed to just... Figure it out. They had. Four, yeah. They didn't figure it out. They didn't figure, they didn't figure it out. They didn't figure it out at all. They need, they need to put Holmberg, Gregor, Reeves. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Anything, Edmondson. We haven't scored in thirty power plays. Or something. Edmondson and Labushkin. Put them all on the power yeah. play. Bench the, spe- <laughs> bench the special teams. Yeah. Wake them up. Say there's no power play one, power play two. It's anyone that wasn't on the power play. Yeah. yeah. On the power penalty play. killers. You're all bench. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All the penalty killers out there. <sighs> Honestly. Throw five defensemen out there. I don't care. All yeah. five. All five D players for the next power play. <laughs> put Connor Dewar, <laughs> put Connor Dewar out there. Dewar's yeah. nasty, man. He is. I, I'm I like his game. He might I, like the chance. Had, I, there was only one play he had where I I would have liked to have seen a bit more, like just chip it out. Oh yeah, he, he had a couple. The, he Holmberg the had a couple bad ones last night. Yeah. Robertson was uh, flying was, though. Robertson, yeah, Robertson, Robertson was, flying was out there. Yeah, he he was looking like he wanted it. He got a few good looks, good chances. He ripped one shot. I called him for one before the game. I'm like Robertson's getting. One. I always feel like he's gonna get one. I always he's such a you know, a player where he could just score one. He doesn't need a ton of ice. He has, he just needs that one moment to just put it in. He's That's sneaky. why I like that they yeah. they took Reeves out and put Gregor. Oh, in, that was a big. But they didn't take Robertson out because no. Robertson, even if he's not like producing, at least Boston has to think about the fact that they have someone that can just fire the puck. You know, Gregor had a great game. Oh yeah, he was flying, hammering guys. Yeah, yeah. We needed that speed on the fourth line. Mm-hmm. I think we're gonna need Revo if we get to a Florida series. Just for the beginning mm-hmm. of the just series. For, yeah, yeah, for the beginning. For but yeah. but Gregor, like we needed Gregor in the oh, last night. Talking about like beginning of the series versus end of the series. This episode is brought to you by Muskoka Brewery non-alcoholic beer. Can we get a round of applause for the two best flavors of non-alcoholic beer I think I've ever had? And clapping because I am fired up about these non-alcoholic beverages. What's your favorite? The hazy IPA? I think, or it's the... The, I think the hazy. I like the hazy a lot. The lime was very good too. It's Lager with lime. lime. Yeah. Lager. Yeah, I like the hazy IPA. I got to say, I'm a big IPA guy, mm-hmm. and I thought that a non alcoholic IPA would be weird. Yeah. And it isn't. It like I could enjoy this after cutting the grass or sitting on the dock. Like you don't want to get any alcohol in yet. With dinner, yeah, right? with, yeah, with dinner. If I'm you're trying all to, over that, if you're trying to cut back on on the alcohol, like this hazy IPA, it's tasty. It's like it's hop bubbly water. It's it's got flavor. Even it's can- social. It's a first perfect social drink. Man, like I- if you don't want to be drinking, mm-hmm. yep. Boom, you got you're driving maybe. And I can just course, add yeah. there too. Even if you're not trying to cut back on the alcohol too much, 78% of people in the U.S. that drink alcohol also purchase non-alcoholic drinks to promote a balance in their life. Oh, you're having yeah. a party or something like that. Yeah. You like you got to make sure you look after everyone. Yeah. And if you want to just yeah just have a, a option of both uh, there, definitely pick up this uh, the beer from Muskoka Brewery. And also uh, the beer is a Canada Beer Cup gold medal winner. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. So if you don't believe us, you can believe the gold medal winner. It's a gold medal gold winner. Medal winner. Wow. Grab yours today from the local beer store, grocery store, or order from Muskoka Brewery's website. Let's get back to the pod. Serious. Do you guys remember when I said that I think it's a good thing that the Leafs are getting all these penalties now because they're only going to get less as the series goes on? Yeah. The only penalty they got last night was Joseph Wall tripping. Yeah. And, Which and wasn't even was, a call, and man. That wasn't even and, a call. And you, did you see Holmberg? Yeah. Like, like, well, I mean, it's, the guy was holding his stick. 
and then he like just shoves him into the boards. There's no way that's on a penalty in the start of the series, but yeah, I'm telling you, they're getting away getting, with it. His stick was getting held. Yeah. The only reason that guy got hit in behind because he's holding the guy's stick. Yeah. Like, don't hold someone's stick from behind. You're going to yeah. get dummy. He's trying to get a stick back. Hey, how does it feel to be a Leafs fan? And we're we've got the boxing gloves on now. Oh, you know I, I feel great. You know what's great? I feel great right now. <laughs> you know what's but I but I'm gonna be feel I'm gonna feel sick tomorrow watching the game. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Game seven in Boston. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It is great that Boston is becoming the new Leafs. I'm here for it. Oh. Okay? No franchise. <laughs> don't say that yet. Don't no, say no. That yet. Don't say it yet. I'll say it. I'll say it. No, no, no don't say a word. it. Don't even don't, say don't it. Don't even actually it. stop what you're saying. I know where you're going. Just... Can we mute his mic? <laughs> yeah, just. We'll can, just, we mute, can we mute Jer? Yeah, I'll just mute Jer. All right, we're like, I'm not even getting cocky as a Leafs fan, but it feels like we have nothing to lose, man. It feels like we are in a position that we have no expectations for this team. It, and it feels great. Like, we don't care if we lose tomorrow. That's like, what Steve uh, Dangle has been yeah. saying. It's, They're already dead. We're already <laughs> They're already dead. If they don't make it to the conference final, they're already dead. It it, it perfectly sums up how I feel inside. Like, and I love that Steve said that. Yeah. It's like I, the pod. I heard someone yeah. saying too little, too late. It's like that's what it feels like this year is. It's too like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it might be the year because okay, we're we're not even have Matthews. We don't even have Matthews. Yeah, here. they're like we're dead already. This we're dead. This <laughs> if if there is a way to get to Game Seven, this is the way I would like the Leafs to get to Game Seven. It's been As like opposed, this every time. <laughs> no, no, no. Other times it would be Leafs, oh. Leafs have a three one lead. Oh. oh, now it's a three three games to two. You want oh, them now to have the momentum three, going? Now it's in. three games to three. Oh, and now it's game like I would. That's want. what I said. Toronto's on fire. Yeah. I'm wearing like a bonfire t shirt. Right I <laughs> I'd rather be in Toronto's position than Boston's position. Okay, so I'll say this: like, do we even want Matthews back for Game Seven? Uh, uh, Rest up. Uh, save it for the next. That's crazy. Would you next... Would you think we'd be saying that? At the start Ever. of this series. No. I'm only saying it because he had one goal. That the, the, he wasn't really doing much. Like, I don't know. I like the lines right now. Yeah. I'm feeling good about the Marner, Domi, Bertuzzi line a lot. They're Another buzzing, thing, man. Oh, not it. to take uh, Steve's thunder here, but he was saying, I don't know if it was in the LFR, like his Leafs fan reaction or not, but he was saying just put, like if Matthews is okay to play, because mm-hmm. he has to be cleared to play by the doctor. Put him on the fourth line? Just put him on the third or fourth line, yeah. play him like 10 minutes. Yeah. And it's like, let him feast when he's out there. Maybe put him on the power play, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. Put, put him against some third string defense. He's going to manipulate their sticks and just rip. Like, he's going to use them as screens. He, out yeah. There, right? He would be a problem playing against fourth yeah. liners. Like, because now you have to, like, and he's playing with Dewar and. Like, I loved how well Gregor rested. played. Robertson. I loved yeah. how Gregor played, but I'd take him, take Gregor out, put Matthews in in the third line spot. Yeah. Third line center. Put him on the fourth line. Or even fourth line. <laughs> Could you imagine? Because you got. You got Tavares and Nyes and Nylander and Marner. Nice. And that, that that Matthews, that Robertson, and Holmberg. Domi, Bertuzzi, Ooh. all up front. And then Domi just hops out, hops over the boards for the third line. You're like, oh, God. Can we talk about Domi playing center? Like, he's winning, like, he's like 75% of the face More than that. He's like, every, well, in the first period. He was he like was. seven for seven in the first period. Yeah. In, the, in that second. Should he be taking five. defensive zone draws every time? Like, yeah, oh, in my yeah. opinion, he's dominating. Domi is, he's sandpaper. He's tough. He's a spark plug. Bertuzzi, yeah. like these are the guys, we, we talked about it I love Bertuzzi. early in the pod, how these are playoff players. I they think are. That he's they literally are. winning every draw just by sheer, like, there's no way I'm losing this draw. Like, it's just pure effort. He's a tough guy. He's it's tough. not even like it's, like, he's just, technique. He's just like, I'm bearing down, and I'm winning this draw back. You're not he's a me. nail gun, though. That's like, what I'm saying. Domi, yeah. and then Bertuzzi, I love, he just goes on hammers, guys. He's just... Yeah. He's just flopping around. He's diving. Oh. Like he's putting effort oh, in extra my. effort. I think it helps that that's like what Marner's playing with. I, yes, because I Marner's not ever doing that. But when he sees Bertuzzi and Domi, he's getting a little more mixing it up. Let Here's me got something. To say. Let me tell you, if we did not have, if the Leafs did not have Bertuzzi and Domi, this series would have been over by now. Oh, for not sure. just from the points because they were the two top point getters in this. Just but from getting the game from going. Yeah. from how much those two. Are a getting under the skin yeah. of Marshan because yeah. it's usually Marshan getting under the skin of every oh. player on the Leafs. Yes, they are. I love it. Ruining him out I there. I love it. They I love every minute him. of it. I love every minute of it. It's that. great to see. We love to see that. every moment of it. The is opening amazing face to see. off and don't just hammer, hammer, 
Bo, bo, bo. Does it feel marshy? Yeah. Does it feel marshy? <laughs> I don't know how he doesn't get a penalty in that game one. Just hammering him with and cross. How does it feel marshy? I don't, as a Leafs fan, I was like crying. Tears I know. of joy. I was yelling at the team and the kids. We've never had remember? anyone do that. Do you remember we've the never guy had anyone do that. In, this, in our section in game four? Did you hear the one guy? <laughs> Those, our, our section was crazy. Yeah, our uh, section was wild. Yeah, these guys were <laughs> saying uh, crazy oh so so i'm same thing game one i'm here i'm seeing this and something inside my body just fills up yeah. oh, with this sort of him. animalistic him. and i'm screaming at the tv <laughs> and the kids are like M- mommy is daddy okay get him <laughs> get him it's like our, it's like our okay? barbaric our barbaric <laughs> Dude, he's coming. got he's got olivia and mason oh. sitting with him it's like sing it kids get him Get oh him. my goodness! He just—I love that. And then, and then Domi even—I don't know how he doesn't get a penalty. He hits him after the whistle yep. in the first period. He just, oh yeah, yeah. Marshan diving though. Oh diving, diving. so much it, like it's insane. He took up Red swimming is, in the off season. He's last. so oh. he's so rattled by Domi and Bertuzzi that if one of them comes near him and and bumps him, <laughs> he's flying across the ice, oh, rolling over three times, like grimacing in pain and looking at the ref. And the ref's like, "What, dude?" Right? Yeah. And then and the best part that perfectly sums up this entire series is when there's a scrum, right? And the ref comes up to, oh. like, and he touches Marchand like this. Blows and Mar- him over. Mar- 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 Marchand just explodes onto the <laughs> ice and falls on his ah! He and you- looks up and he sees the ref and he's just like, <laughs> and you see his face on his face. He's like, buddy, you just sold I'm, yourself. Uh, no, you just got yeah. exposed. I'm, there's like a little bit of static going on in my earphones here. Are we talking too uh, loud? I, I'm screaming so much. It's, no, it's right probably because the kids were messing with the mic, like the volume on your ah. headphones. Is that oh, better? Now I can't hear a thing. Oh, a little too much. We're all good. We're all good. Hello. I turn it up. So that that part. Here we go. Where Marsh, where the the ref just like gently touches Marsha and oh, he just my. falls over it, and his his face is like this, and then he sees the ref, and he's just like. I'd be, oh, no. I, I'd be heated too, though. The ref, you don't touch me. And then did you see, did you see him last game when he pushes the ref? Yeah, he shoved the linesman. That's insane. Yeah, yeah. No. That's the insane. linesman, the linesman was in the way of the bench after Marshan went. So Marshan <laughs> went out of his way gonna to, dummy to him. interfere with Bertuzzi on a line. Yeah, yeah, I saw that, yeah. And then he was trying to get to the bench, but the linesman was standing there because he had to move to avoid them getting, I'll like, dummy getting hit. I'll and then he, dummy just, him. he just shoved them out of the I'll way. Pass down oh, there. I'm going to dummy him. I'm going to dummy him. He's heated. He's heated. Marshan is getting heated. Oh, I like my. it. And Pasta, not looking oh, like Pasta. They're saying you see no. him get called out by his coach. Oh, yeah, I saw Pasta that. Needs to step up. Jimmy, Jimmy said Marshan's been playing well. Pasta has Marshan to step up. Marshan has been playing great, but he just can't handle the pressure anymore. I don't know if we want to be firing Marshan. I don't know if we want. Yeah, I, I fired him up with an Instagram post, and he went out there and scored three points. So, <laughs> yeah, so. I, save those. Yeah, Marsh is going to play great. Did you bring your referee outfit? Do you I don't have, have a referee outfit. I, don't have I one. told I saw you the don't. text and I was on the way. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I was like, no, I don't have a referee outfit. I, I was planning on basically reenacting that. What did we just talk about? That would be about? funny. Where like the ref just comes over. It's like. Well, if uh, you watch it back, it, me. It, was, it wasn't t- like a light me. Hat. No, he pushed me. <laughs> he pushed me. Pasta, he pushed me. I, I was going to do like the top three hits of the playoffs. And it would be like Rempe and then like oh, uh, ja- a- Jamie Ben and then the linesman. Oh, <laughs> just. But nothing beats. I, I will dummy him. If he does that again, I'm going to dummy him. No, the ref, I will dummy him. You got to throw the clip of him just shoving the ref. Oh, my. Take that's that. Hilarious. Take that. Get ref. out of the way. Get out of the way, Stripes. Uh, I got to start doing voiceovers of, like, yes, get out yes. of the way, Stripes. Oh, yeah, like j- literally just mic'd up. I will dummy you. Fake, fake mic'd up. Fake mic'd up. Fake yeah. oh, mic'd up. That's you, all. You, you could make a kill in doing you, that. You got to get, so that clip when Marchand gets knocked over by the ref and he looks over and he's like, frig you. <laughs> just, just through that. Frig you, F ref. Off. Frig <laughs> F off. Frig Pass, off. Pass, he did it again. <laughs> Pass, you see him do it again? Frig I, off. I, I pushed him. I pushed him back. <laughs> I pushed him back this time. <laughs> That's gold. Oh. So then Willie gets the... Not security a big deal. goal. No, boy, it's not a no big, big deal. deal. It's not a big deal. Little just double, five hole. Just double dipped. Breakaway. Lost in an elimination game. Mm-hmm. That in, little in an elimination skin. game. Oh, first of all, the the first goal that Willie gets, what have we been saying? Just please put the puck On in net. the general vicinity. Just throw it there. Uh, just put it there. And what does he do? He, he cuts back. He sees a lane. Oh. That cutback was crazy. Oh, I, I was No telling... one in the league's doing a cutback oh, at the top no. of the blue line. Yeah. With no guys back and just. He's so good on his edges, bro. I was telling Jer before the pod that I was watching Nylander in the warm-ups in his first game back that you and I saw. Yeah. And also 
they showed a clip of him of the warmups before last night's game, and he does this one thing along the right near the right faceoff dot, like top of the circle, where he does exactly that. He does like a cutback, another cutback, and then the third one he dri- he cuts back oh. and drives in the net. He basically did the exact same thing, like a punch turn, and it's like so. It's not like abrupt. It's like smooth, but it happens so quick that guys can't adjust to it, right? Because he's moving oh, yeah. away from you, then all of a sudden he's behind you. Yeah, it's, it's because his yeah. his posture. He's so upright and over his skates that yes. he knows that no one else in the league. There might be like McDavid that can like turn like him. But yeah. here's the thing with that type of move, you are just by sheer nature you initiate the move. The other person has to react yeah. to it, so you are always one step ahead. Uh, uh, like a couple milliseconds ahead of that. But when you do it right? at that speed. Exactly. And like it's like, boom, it's like edge switch, and the puck's already going that way. By the time the guy reacts, it's too when late. When I already. do it, I'm like, oh, I'm going too wide. And then yeah. the guy's like cutting me off, and it's like, it just doesn't work. <laughs> Don't have You're like, I'm like, I'm like Willie. I'm like yeah, Willie. I'm, like, I'm trying to do a little punch turn, and I, I'll catch an edge, and it won't work. I'll, like, I'll be like ruddering. I'll be like, what are you not losing anybody. It's Logie just giving them an opportunity to grab. You, you can just picture that noise in your head when you're trying to turn. It's like <laughs> the rumble strips you hit. Yeah. Here's the move, though. If you want to pull off that type of move in a men's league, yeah. you just oversell it, but you don't actually do it. So you fake like you're going to, and then you give the guy like a half second to react. He reacts, overreacts. So he thinks you're gonna, and you're just like, "Not nah, change my mind." And now you just lose, <laughs> right? I do it all the time. I come up the boards and I fake like I'm gonna you just open your shoulders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I just open yeah. the the hip and the shoulder a little, and the guy thinks I'm cutting back. And I'm like, so nah. the guy's like, "Nah, he doesn't have that in his bag." I'm just gonna keep, <laughs> oh, back. I'm just gonna keep checking oh, him. <laughs> it, it works every time because they're like a little bit behind. I, yeah, I fake yeah. like I'm cutting back, and they like and, and it's Mensley. Like you're a lazy that's defender. That's like it, like you're. If Even someone if makes good a good move on me, I'm letting them go. Yeah. Like, I'm not, all you know I, what I mean? All you got, you open the hips and then turn this way and you have the whole center lane. We all on. can't be like Mike on yeah. the fence back there, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, Mike, yeah, Mike, yeah. on the blue line and then, like, matching the gap and, like, my, and like pressuring from behind. Like, oh, he's, he like, a, he's just a, an elite. Uh, he's three defensemen in one. He could probably defend Patrick Maroon. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I think so. No, I'm serious. Yeah, I think so. I, mean, I, I don't think 100%. Mar- Maroon. I, I think Mike could be in the NHL. I think. <laughs> I, I, I think he could take Labushkin's spot. Mar- I'm serious. I'm serious. He's a good puck mover. Mike. Yeah. Mike would be a nice. He's a horse, Mike. man. He's, He's a, a horse. horse. <laughs> like he wouldn't be easy to get a, like away from in the corner. Like My, for all for all the listeners know, Mike could be a fictional character that we're just like <laughs> he doesn't even exist. <laughs> Talk like, him up so much. There's gonna be guys. Like, Can we sign Mike? Like who's this Mike guy <laughs> to the ECHL? No last name. Just Mike. Mike. Just Mike. <laughs> Mike. Mike Lazowski. We gotta send this to Mike so he listens to this. <laughs> yeah, we really appreciate your game. Yeah, yeah. We well, love- it'll find him eventually. <laughs> Get, getting back to uh, the Leafs game, yeah. Nylander mm-hmm. throws it on net. Wasn't it? Was it a perfect snipe top corner? No. No. You know what happened? Because he just threw it on net. It hits even better. It hits McAvoy. It's even better. And then goes top McAvoy, corner. Yeah. And then goes right top off the corn. right off the knee top yeah. corner, and that's and why. now the defenseman's like, damn. Yeah. It, you, when you score on your goal, net, mm. it's brutal. Bro. When it's it's gridlocked, when the Leafs have held fifty six j- seconds left in the second, yeah. that is when we get scored on. And like, game that, time, baby. That's when we get scored on. And that was pivotal. That was pivotal because the Leafs held the Bruins to only one shot on net for half of the entire game, for the entire first period and half the second period. Bruins only had one shot, maybe two. And then all of a sudden, Bruins started turning it up. I I, like, yeah, no, I will no. say. It was after that penalty. I will say penalty, they had yeah. one shot, but it wasn't a one-shot game. Like, there yeah. was a lot of, like. The attempts were really cl- By the end of the second period, the Bruins had 11 more shot attempts. That's what I'm getting to, right? Yeah. So then, nice. then the Leafs get a four-minute power play and do not score. And I said, it's over if Boston scores. Leafs need this. That's what I said, too, and to my dad. I'm like, we need to score first, bro. And then what happens? The pendulum starts swinging the other way. Boston starts piling on the shots, yes. piling on the pressure, holding the zone. They've got the offensive pressure, and we're almost into the third period. And it's like, ooh, it's going to be a quiet barn if the Leafs can't get one. Yeah. And luckily, Nylander, punch turn, and throws then it, it on electric. net, oh. off McAvoy. The barn erupts, the towers are waving, and the goalie's go chant. We're getting swimming. We, I've never heard that swimming. in a Leafs barn ever, yeah. ever. Like, and ever. the boys are fired up. That. With 54 seconds left, it's almost the perfect time to score that goal, so you can bring that positivity oh. in all the in 20,000 people's minds. 
you remember like, that last goal? Anticipating. Yes, I was like the third period. Yeah. And, and Boston has to go and sit on that. Eh? Yeah. Boston has to go. Hey, go sit on that goal for the next. 20 minutes and yes. think about that and not only boys we had one shot halfway through the periods like we need to throw and now they're like forcing shots on net not playing their game yeah Mar- uh pasternak's ripping a clap like slap shots from the blue well, i will say that's a good shot against the leafs oh, every yeah. time yeah. Every, <laughs> any shot against the leafs is a good shot when past the sometimes shoot. they yeah. find their way but not with wool in net oh not with I, wool. like if we had wool starting i think the series would be over already i'm gonna agree with you on that one see i i want to say i agree but that would have been like, that just wasn't in the cards because Wall was not playing well at all leading into the playoffs. But was Sammy? Mm. No. Well, Sammy, w- Sammy was playing well until the last he two games. He was on waivers two months ago, bro. Yeah, like, but then he came back, like, really good. So, like, I feel like, like they did the right thing. But, but that's because we were playing and outscoring teams by scoring six goals. Like, yeah. his goals against average was still, like, like, th- like four. What I fear about that mentality, we winning. Well, it's a revisionist mentality, so it's obviously you can't go back and change it. But I feel like if you did start Wall, then all of a sudden it's like, okay, well, did he play his way into that? Or did they just, like, bail on Samsonov because he looked a little shaky in the last game that doesn't even matter? I know? just was never confident like got... that he was going to save the puck in any situation. Yeah, no, but Is like, that, was that just me? It's just like a mental thing, though. If you do swim. that, if you do that with like, you start Wall instead of Samsonov, and then say Wall falters because it's against Boston, you know, like they could pump three on him, and then there's, you know, like it just then who do like, you go to? Then it, Samsonov's like, like, you didn't trust me, so it's... but they haven't gotten three on him in three games. But like the thing, the thing with yeah, but it's because it's like oh, I'm I'm here to save the day. The thing know? with yeah. Sammy, I got, I got you. I, like, I don't even know yeah. if Sammy is like has like the what's it called the fundamentals of being a goalie, like positional, like positional, like he doesn't know how to hug the post, like no. yeah, like, is that, like, he was like swimming. I don't watch goalies. No, that's a I don't know anything about he's swimming. He's like swimming in net and front he, stroke, back over stroke. committing. I think. I'm having he a can't stroke. Play the puck like he, like he's been known to not be able to play the puck. Like stay in the net and like. He gets all like, all these goals where like he'll supposed to just be like on the post and then he won't be on the post. Yeah. And they're like horrible goals. He'll make these crazy saves, but then he'll let the like the worst goals ever in. The perfect man. Like the one goal. on that guy coming yeah. in. Remember that guy on the left wing that was a killer against the Leafs after we just scored to go up one nothing. Yeah, it was Frederick. It was Frederick. Oh. Yeah. Or perfectly yeah. placed, but most goalies would have had that. I think every goalie. I'm in just NHL being. Needs to have I'm that. being reserved in what I'm saying about Samsonov because if the Leafs manage to make it into the second round and stuff, I could see a mm-hmm. scenario no, where... It's got to be Wool. No, it's got to be Wool. Like, if, 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 if Wall gets injured, what are you going to do? Uh, uh, you know, like Murray stuff or... Stuff happens. <laughs> Murray. No, I'm serious. Sammy's not seeing the pipes. You put Keith Petrozelli in I'm there? Putting, I'll, put the, I'll put the Marley's goalie in there. Yeah. I forgot I'm to... serious. I forgot to mention this talk. We were talking about Vancouver, how they're on their third goalie. Yeah. I was going to say, they're about to toss their uh, head coach in net. Which sounds crazy. It's, it sounds crazy, but that's what they used to do in like the '60s. It it happened that's, once. That's crazy. Like, I'm not. I, I don't trust anyone else. I think I'll they should put. I actually think they should put me in it. <laughs> I, I played goalie once. I'll play. But yeah, play but is, isn't that wild? Like back in the '60s, uh, or our, our first goalie gets injured. Oh, now our backup get, goalie gets injured. Hey, coach, you want to play? Yeah, sure. I'll put on the pads. He just puts on the pads and goes play. He was 56 years old. Oh, my god. 56 gosh. years old, goes in that. I mean, 60s, though. Like, it was, everyone was on acid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, it's, I didn't take it as serious. Yeah. I just, I think that's just wild that. They didn't have goalie masks. No. Oh, uh, yeah. They didn't have yeah. helmets. They, they couldn't lift it. Right? Right? Like, yeah, throw the. <laughs> coach, you're a big boy. You just want to go. You just go and, and stand and, there. And you're the not really, we don't really need you anyway. They didn't even do anything. They just stood like this. It was like a. They yeah, just yeah. Stood like, Kick your legs out. It was like, it, they literally stood like a stick figure. The, the pads would be together like. Scarecrow goalies, I call them. Like, yeah. <laughs> Scarecrow yeah, goalies. Yeah. Their arms are straight out. Like, oh my gosh, I would score seven a game. <laughs> seven? I thought you'd go higher than that. I think I probably got seven a period, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. Seven a shift. Yeah. Uh, should we talk about the only series that's um, finalized for the second round? Like the matchups. Rangers uh, versus do Hurricane. Do talk about yeah. them? Well, I just want to get your guys' thoughts because it's like. Really offensive versus like lockdown. I style. don't know either team too well. Mm. I know the Canes have been a playoff team for years now. Mm-hmm. They got Jarvis and now Fetchy. yeah, those are my Aho. boys. Those are my boys. Those Burns, are guys. Uh, the Rangers. I don't know. Are they the real deal? Everyone thinks they're the real deal, but do I believe it? I don't know. 
I'm, I'm interested. I'm watched, just interested. I haven't to watched see. a full game of them play because, like, I don't think I've seen a game of the Rangers versus Hurricanes. Like, I just if they have, they have obviously played, but I don't think I've watched it. I think it's <laughs> going to be a good series. I think, yeah. I think the Rangers on paper seem to be a problem. Like Zabanajad, Panarin, yeah, Lafreniere came into his own this year. Yep. Uh, their point, they got just Durkin and Rampe. Rampe. Panarin. Rampe, I said Panarin. He did, yeah, yeah. Um, but also, who was it? Fox, Adam Fox. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, big Truba, just a nightmare. We'll Trocek, is, uh, is it Trocek? Trocek, yeah, yeah, they got him too. He's he's like an underrated supporting cast. Jimmy VC goes, leaves the Leafs and then becomes like a star. He went from vanilla to... Whatever is more from... strong than vanilla, real quick. <laughs> what? You went from what? Vanilla. vanilla. What does that mean? Because Keith in that Amazon documentary called him, you're a little vanilla out there. Oh, oh just I just like, you know, plain. <laughs> you know? Oh, and now he's like. like you go for ice cream. You he was supposed to be like this stud. He was like, wasn't yeah. he coming from like uh, B- Boston College or something? Yeah, yeah. It, it was, he was like... one of those guys. He like, he's like, no, I don't want to get drafted. I'm just going to play college so I can be a free agent. And then every team had a look at him and wanted him when he came into the league because he could just sign wherever he wanted, right? So every team's like, yeah, I, I, we want you, we want you. We, we, he ends up going, uh, who, who took him, was it? Wasn't it? Vancouver did. No, I thought it was the Rangers. I thought it was the Rangers. No, Vancouver had him first, and then he really? went to the Rangers, yeah. Oh, so he went from Vancouver, then the Rangers, then the Leafs, and then... Yeah. I don't know about that. I, I swear it was the Rangers who grabbed him. Right out, out of the game. No. Okay. Well, we're... Are you like? It was like, McKay- like, no, like, McKayev. Hey, McKayev and Aiden, BC. are you a hundred percent positive on yeah. this? Because yeah, BC went I have to... to look this up now. <laughs> Do you want to look it up? Yeah, we have to look this up. I have a very strong feeling that the Rangers did get him. I uh, and yeah, because he wanted to go to the Rangers. I remember that because he everyone's like his dad some, does something with the Leafs. Remember? Yeah. Oh yes, I do remember that. And then it was like, oh, he went to the Rangers or something yeah. like that. Oh well, we're, we're, we're looking, Hayden, at, we're looking him up. Yeah, we got to look it up now. All right, are we doing a, a draft this pod? Yeah. Yes, we got twenty minutes. Let's do it. What's what's the draft? Considering it's the playoffs, we're we we are going to draft. What are we drafting? What was the draft? We are best, drafting the best playoff line. Our best playoff team of current NHL players. F- lineup okay. top five. Just a lineup. You're just, yeah, we're not going to sit here and draft yeah. twenty two. Yeah, we're going to draft. Go backup goalies. Okay. Drafting the best or drafting your. Starting lineup, so I mean, the buttery so flaky crunch. Oh my god, that video buttery is so crispy late. flake. It's a buttery, it's a buttery flaky, crispy flaky. Buttery, it's flaky. <laughs> go Google that. Just go. Oh, watch I, that. I know what you're talking it's about. Buttery crispy so funny, crunch. Dude. It's like some girl getting her dad to. No, it was old. It was too old. It was an old couple, and they were doing like a commercial shoot. And oh, okay. She was telling his like her husband. To say the line. Say the line. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's a buttery, flaky crunch. Yeah. And you would go buttery, crispy, yeah. crunch. And then butter, flaky, flaky, <laughs> buttery, flaky. I, I've, se- I've seen one like that. And it's like, oh, it's so funny. It's like a, this so girl, funny. she's getting her grandpa to try to like quote one line, and then he just keeps messing it up or switching <laughs> yeah, the words. Okay. It goes on for like a minute. If she, you're at home, great. type in buttery, flaky, crunch. Yeah, type in buttery, flaky, crunch, and watch the whole video, and you will laugh. All right, so we are drafting <laughs> the best... Our best buttery flaky crunch. Your best we NHL. Are, <laughs> we are drafting. <laughs> we are drafting your favorite playoff lineup of current NHL players. Who you would want this? To... <laughs> How do you? I don't want to put this in. Do you want me to do it? Hey, no, no, I got it. Okay. We are drafting our starting playoff lineup. Awesome. All it's, right, go ahead, guys. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Take that's it away. Cool. Rock, paper, scissors? Okay, rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, I got okay. it. The double rock. All right. All right. Chip, Number one first. overall on my playoff roster, I got to go with the man. Number nine, seven, Connor McDavid. Of course. I got to take him. I got to take Dable. I'm of course. One. I'm number one. All right. You got McDavid. First overall, I'm taking the other Mac, McKinnon. Ah, okay. Yeah, we got our that's, centers. That's Big Mac, whereas yours is Big Mick. Yeah, you, no, you got Little Mick. It's an M. <laughs> it, Mac. It's a big M, little C. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I like that. I like that. I'm going to take another Mac. Mm. I'm going to go Uh-oh. for my back end. I'm going Kale McCarr. This looks Uh-oh. a lot similar to the, 
Hey, this looks a lot skating. similar to the skating draft we did. <laughs> this is tough. This is tough. I was I, I wanted to grab him second. I, I might I should have maybe because you already had your sentiment locked. Yeah. Mm. Ford was locked. Mm. All right. Give me give me a good winger. Give me a good winger. I'm taking the Chuck. Okay. I'm, I'm taking the Chucker. Matthew or Brady? <laughs> Let's be honest here, guys. You're going with Matthew. Brady. Eh? Yeah, we're going. With, we're going with Matty. That's a good pick. He's a playoff performer. He's a playoff player. Yeah. That's a great pick. Yeah, he shows up when it matters. He shows up. He yeah. shows up. Okay, so I got a forward. I got a defense. Um, I got to get a goalie now. Mm. I think I'm going to go with a goalie. Mm. And Interesting. There's a f- there's a probably two good. I don't even really know. Three good goalies you could pick. I'd just save it for the end. Get who, the other lineups who, you need first. Who I'd pick. Don't I thought you were the unbiased, neutral Switzerland I'm, guy. I'm, I'm, I'm allowed to give advice. I will take Hayden's advice, and I'm probably gonna. Take, oh come on, Hayden! I'm probably gonna take. <laughs> I'm gonna take. I'm gonna have the most dynamic back end oh, in the no. history of the game. Please don't no. When Hughes on my back oh, end, car and Hughes. No. Oh, that's disgusting. No, I don't even know how you stop that. <laughs> I actually don't disgusting. even know how you even deal with that. <laughs> That's pretty good. Shoo. We got some strategy here. I was hoping you'd draft your goalie so then I could yeah. save my goalie draft to the very end. Yeah. Because you can only pick one goalie. Exactly. And I also could have used that same strategy to take my centerman unless you drafted three centermen. You're allowed to take goalie. three centermen. You, yeah. you could. If yeah. you want. Anyone's yeah. available. Yeah, so. All right. Uh, give me pasta. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no, way. no, maybe no, not. no. Once maybe you not. say it. No. No, once it says it comes out, you have to no, take it. No, no, no. No, you cannot, no, no, no. You cannot go back on I, that. I, it was fun. No, 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 no. It was no. all one word. It was all one word. No. It, it was all one word. Give me pasta, maybe not. No, <laughs> that's all one word. crazy. Okay, I'll let Hayden uh, decide. Uh, Whatever. That's, that's Why would you say that if you weren't going to take him? Yeah, that's... Because... No. Flag on the play. Yeah, you have to take him. I will okay. I'll let you. T- I'll let you switch. But that's like because now I can't draft pasta. I I, I I can still take him. He's a great player. If you guys I, are forcing him on me, I just, no, just you, you, don't take you, you, him. If okay, you don't, don't want to take him, him, don't take, take him. him. But now it's him. just bad karma. Like you're just asking for it. I'll take but, pasta. Uh, <laughs> give, me, give me pasta. You know what? Okay. He's having a bit of a, a slow play, but you typically <laughs> he's a goal scorer. He's a goal scorer. Okay. He's a playoff guy. I will take Austin Matthews. Mm. See, mm. I mean, also like not. Performing great. He's I, will, not, I will take McDavid and Matthews on my starting five uh, fair, all like, day long, brother. He might perform a bit better. I will take McDavid, McDavid Matthews, McCarr, and Hughes all day long, brother. Matthews does sort of disappear, though, in the playoffs, no? With McDavid? I don't think mm. anyone could possibly disappear. All right, all right. Just all right. dish it to how do you hide? on the back door. Hey, how do you hide? Oh, it's a problem. Dave-o. It's a problem. All right, now I'm taking my D. Uh, I'm going to take Adam Fox. Mm. Yeah, that's a good pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great pick, actually. Um, I, I gotta round out this lineup. I don't know. It's so nasty. You, you just need a winger, right? I just need. I I might even add some sandpaper because I feel like it's just. Yeah, yeah. Um. Well, that's why I took the chalk right off the start because he's everything. Mm. He's everything. Yeah. I, he's everything. He's everywhere. He's I I really chalk. don't want to take this guy, but like, no, nah, I can't take him. I can't take him. I'm just trying to think of someone who's won a cup. It's hard when you're a Leafs fan. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it actually is. It is. Um, I I think can, it, I'm thinking of one guy right now that if you guys don't pick, I'll be shocked because it's it, it's like so obvious to me. Really, uh, it's yeah. obvious to you. I, I've I've got a, an idea, but I don't want to. I'll give you a, I'll give you a hint. You've got two lefties. Yeah, I know. Like uh, I like the number one point guy in the league. Yeah, like I could pick him. Oh, I'm not. I, I, maybe you're thinking of someone different. I'm not sure. I got I, one I guy in my mind. Oh, oh, oh. I don't need. I'm going to start the countdown. Yeah, I just got one sec. One sec. In my head, I'm counting from 10, and I'll start. I'll voice it at 5. So, for the record, I was going to um, switch past it for Cooch. <laughs> okay, I'll give you Cooch. Too late. Well, too late now. Okay, it's too late. Five. I'll just take the. Four. Three. And two. And I am going to select with my pick. One. I am going Zero. to select who is. Uh, I'm just trying to think of a righty right now, and they're not coming to my brain. <laughs> they're not coming to my brain. I'm gonna. You know what? 
I'm taking Crosby. <laughs> I don't oh, even care. I'm taking Crosby. Right. That's, I'm, that's, I will take lefties. Crosby. I will take uh, McDavid, Crosby, and Matthews. <laughs> you, that's that's like in, that's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I like, think that's. Is there enough pucks for them out there? They could uh, all carry two pucks, and <laughs> I couldn't think of anyone. I don't know how you leave Crosby out of that. That's uh, tough. Yeah, yeah. Three cups. Yeah. What do you have? Forty goals this year too. Yeah, it's oh, crazy. Uh, I thought you just grab dry side. I'll throw him on there with me. I know. I was going. I was thinking. I think of a righty. I couldn't think of like who was the best scorer that was a righty in the. Uh, well, I'm thinking you. I, was were, say I thought. I thought you would have went Ovi because you're a big Ovi guy. Shooter. He's but a shooter. that's not who I was thinking of, and I'm not who, saying until the end. Yeah, I couldn't think of a righty because Jair still has to make his pick. Uh, well, I mean, I gotta grab a D. Oh uh, right, you already did your forwards. It is so tough. Like Miko is a good winger to throw on there. Yeah. Brantonen. Miko Brantonen. I'm just trying to think of a sniper righty. I couldn't. All right, I got another defense to throw on there, and I'm grabbing Victor Hedman. He's a big boy. Yeah, he can, shoot, he can shoot the puck. Two right. cups. Yeah, yeah, that's two a big cups. A little bit of experience. Lots of playoff experience. He pretty much is the only good thing about the Lightning D now. Yeah. Aside from Sergachev, but he only played the one game. So. What a nasty lineup you got here, eh? Do you guys want to hear the guy? That, yeah, who uh, are you talking about? Jonathan Marcheseau. Oh, interesting. Mar- I mean, like out the Marshy, but like a nah. I mean, for, for wingers, though, we got the Chuck past them, Miko Rannan, Kaprizov, Kucherov, Panarin. I'm just talking purely playoff. Panarin. Oh, I probably should take Panarin. 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 Probably, uh, pretty good. He's a good, nah. good playmate. I'll take like, Crosby. I, would, I don't know. I would argue that Marcia has been the best winger of the playoffs. Like play, the yeah, you're talking years. about a playoff. Yeah. You know, like guy. like he showed, like he's he's the MVP after not even, like he got like two points in the first series and then just lit it up right up to the cup. Yeah. You know, like yeah. just. I would even take like Mark crazy. Stone. <laughs> like, yeah, like Mark Stone's a good playoff, playoff guy. performer. Yeah. Like, um, but if you look at just like pure production and like all around wingers in the league, like Marsh, so I would have had yeah. that. Oh, wait, sure. wait a second. Did I not draft a goalie? We don't have goalies yet. Now they have goalies. Yeah. I'm like, oh, we drafted five. Okay. So we're drafting goalies now. Cause oh, yeah. we drafted okay. five people. All right. We usually so draft five. Say your say them at the same time. If they're the same, then Chippy gets it. But I want to see if you both pick the same. So just go th- and I'll count down from yeah. five, five, four. Three, two, Vasilevskin. Uh, there you go, Vasilevskin and Shesterkin. I knew I, you weren't going to pick the same. I, I wasn't. I was going to take Shesterkin. I was going, but then I was like, he doesn't want a cup. So no, I no. I got a goalie that I, want it. I'm just taking it for right now. Like, I think Vasilevsky anytime is the guy, but he he couldn't do it against Florida. And I'm like, well, do I want him on my team right now? No, maybe Shesterkin. Right, right. Maybe his time has come. All right. Yeah, I like it. Maybe he's not the. Guy. I mean, let's, Here, I'll let's go, go through. through the lineup. But, but if you can read that, Vasilevsky is just a a great pick. I cannot read this, Jerry. I got to be honest. We got. <laughs> I can go down it. Yeah, let's let Jerry rip it. I, I also can't. <laughs> that, that's like chicken scratch, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I do the same. Uh, <laughs> although I didn't t- uh, write down what is it? goalies. You got Makar. You got McDavid, Makar, Hughes. Then who'd you pick? Crosby. Crosby. And uh, McDavid and Matthews. Oh, Matthews. Yeah, Matthews was his fourth pick or third pick. Yeah, because I didn't write the entire names. I just wrote the first four letters. And the A A looked like a U. All right. So this is – I'm just going to admit defeat right now. (laughs) <laughs> right, Ch- Chippy's playoff team. Chippy's got like the three best Canadian hockey players in the Ever. past like Ever. twenty years. <laughs> I was gonna pick, I was gonna throw Bedard in there in the mix, but I really wanted to grab McCarr as my guy. I was gonna take him <laughs> after you pick McDavid, but it's like, but then you're just gonna grab McKinnon. You have McDavid. McKinney. Yeah, that would have been just crazy. too much. <laughs> crazy, so I couldn't. Uh, first, first pick really helped here. Yes, it did. All right, uh, Chippy's team. We got McDavid at center. We got Matthews and Crosby on the wing. <laughs> on defense, Makar and Hughes, and then Vasilevsky. Quinn and Hughes. Nett. Quinn Hughes. Yeah, Quinn Hughes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I think that deserves an applause. <laughs> All right, now Jeremy's. Is, c- can we see that? Like, I would love to see that. I just want to watch this. But I want to like, see that line. But it might be like. There's like, not enough puck. Like, like a Kachuk out there could, you know what I mean? Like, and you got other guys that can go out there and body, like. Like your line versus him, his yeah, lineup. Well, let's hear his lineup. All right, yeah. so my lineup, I got Nathan McKinnon. Yeah. Dog, down like, the center. Dog. Dog. Down the center with Matthew the Chuck. Yeah. On that's, wing. That's, and Pasta. That, right? And Pasta's doing work out there. He's just not getting those looks. He's a shooter. 
the Chuck is a grinder yeah. and a and a shooter that's and a I'm playmaker. Saying. Like that's like I actually don't know. And what McKinnon would is a horse. McKinnon's like, a dog. McKinnon and Kachuk on the same line is yeah. kind of that would be they'd be insane. trouble. They'd be hard, really hard to play against. And then on D. And if you got McKinnon into Chuck, like getting pucks and, and feeding him out to pasta, I think you'll put them in the net. Uh, on D, we got Adam Fox and Victor Hedman. I think it's that's a solid. That's, I mean, they're hard to get past. Like my lineup just sounds good, but like I think yours is more of a. I like I like that he's got two righties and a lefty on forward because both McKinnon and Pasta are like have that advantage on the one timer on the power play and stuff because like yeah. you score more from the right oh, from yeah. the left side of the one timer right but McDavid and Crosby or are... <laughs> yeah. And, and then Matthews just putting them put Headman them feeding pucks to, to Crosby, because Crosby down by because the Because Crosby paint. can play below the net, behind the net. He can play back door and just be hard on his Smart. stick. Yeah. Smart. Like he's like he could just sit in front of the net. Mm-hmm. Like, and then McDavid goes in, grabs the puck. Matthews horse. Like you could like Matthews underrated game is like going and getting the puck and like yeah. keeping the puck. And then, and, then McDavid, and, yeah. and then Crosby's the same thing. And then McDavid's the same thing. Like yeah. it would be hard to get the puck off them. Yeah. So and now we got. Use and then now McCarthy. I'm gonna go and create this 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 lineup and sim it in, in NHL, NHL 20. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, somebody do that. Hey, eh? yeah, somebody who has got the do time. That. Some, yeah. Somebody who's, who's firing up. Their Send us video the highlight games. clips. That would yeah. be unreal. Oh, <laughs> do it. Yes, please. seven game series. Anyone who's, who's got <laughs> yeah. Chell, we'll st- like stream it on Twitch. And just watch, do oh, it live. Every, cool. Anyone who's got ch- Chell in a few extra minutes tonight, just yeah. throw that up. Make our lineup. See who wins. Yeah. We'd love to know. I would love to know. And speaking of you, puck daddies out there. Thanks a lot to the YouTube members. Shout out to you guys. Oh, yeah. to that. You oh, guys yeah. are beauties. Everyone who's buying our merch. Uh, oh, yeah. Love your support. Yeah. Everyone comments. Real appreciate it. Everyone that's commenting on the episodes, we love you. Yeah. Thanks for contributing. Go tell your friends about the pod. Yeah, that would okay. be huge. You got any hockey friends? Go tell a friend. Tell what a you got to do is friend. just send them a clip of the draft. The next conversation you start at work or with your buds, it starts like this. So I was listening to the Puck Daddy podcast and, right, and then... What, oh, what's Puck Daddy? Exactly. Just, oh, it's like, you got to go listen to you. You're going to the bathroom. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to the bathroom. I was just, I was just listening to the Puck Daddy pod. <laughs> Whatever. You just got to work. So just work that. Work it in. I was yeah. listening to the Puck Daddy podcast and... You can say whatever you want after that. Yeah. You could continue to talk about what happened. Or you could just pod. talk about your day. Yeah. Yeah. You got any good podcasts lately? Then they tell you theirs and you'd be like, oh, I got this really good one. Called yep. Puck Daddy. But but even if it's like, say you uh, had a great golf score, right? So I was listening to the Puck Daddy podcast, and I went out and played the best shot game of my life. Nine under. I shot yeah. nine under. After listening to the Puck Daddy podcast, because these, these three guys yeah. so, are some uh, the of the mojo is so I was listening guys I've ever heard in my entire existence. And even if it's something negative. So I was listening to the Puck Daddy podcast, and this guy cut me off on the way to work. You're going to believe it. Freaking like, and if I wasn't listening to the podcast, I probably would have got out and yeah. on something violent. But yeah. I was listening to the boys, and they we were talking about me don't down. go through life, just grow through. Grow through. They told yeah. me to grow through life, <laughs> right? Any, yeah, any strong end. It's like, not the it, it's weekend. It's not the weekend. It's a strong end. They've changed my entire <laughs> view on life. <laughs> we love it. Anything. So yeah. I was listening to the Puck Daddy podcast, and I went to get some chips from the <laughs> the vending machine. I paid for one, and two came out. <laughs> And now, apparently, chips are good for you. Yeah. <laughs> because we're listening to the Pug Daddy podcast. Breaking news. And, and I gave both of them away and, and ate broccoli sprouts. Anyway, thank you, Elf. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I got a great uh, segment for the next one. What is it? We get to pick one guy that gets to be our LTIR guy. <laughs> oh, all season? Like, every team gets one LTIR guy. That's amazing. We got to talk about that. I like that. Next episode. Next episode.